Family, take a moment to think about the people you care about most in the world. Think about their hopes and their dreams and the future that you see for them. Every day, the food industry impacts millions of families around the world. And I'm not talking about our customers' families. I'm talking about our associates' families. Each associate has unique desires and a distinct journey. And today, we are going to talk about their path. We all spend massive amounts of time analyzing customer data on how to better attract and retain customers. But do we properly leverage all of our employee data to attract and retain the best people? Do we consider how each associate has unique hopes and dreams? My name is Dominic Martinez, and I'm with Fry's Food Stores. With me today is Kelvin Austin from State of Brothers Markets, Tiffany Law from Niagara, Tammy Davis from Safeway, Joey Slack from Cub, and Hannah Myers with Hagen. Together, we have more than 80 years of retail experience, and collectively, we are Team Eminent Force. Take a moment to remember a shopping experience at your favorite grocery store 10 plus years ago. Your favorite checker knew your name, your husband or your wife's name by heart. She would talk to your children about the sports they play and ask them how they performed in last week's ball game. That service you received was genuine and intentional. Was your last shopping experience engaging? The food industry is experiencing a labor shortage. Stores are struggling like never before to attract and retain associates. And if drastic changes aren't made, what we know customer service to be may never be the same. What we've done in the past to attract and retain associates was effective. What we're asking you to consider and act on is to use technology to create a personalized career journey that's focused on benefits that provide incentives and rewards specifically designed to motivate each and every associate. What we're going to cover with you today is the changes that are impacting the food industry, including the changing workforce and understand and meeting their needs. We'll talk about leveraging customer loyalty programs to reduce associate turnover and use technology to leverage associate data in order to create a talent development model that's focused on personalization. Let me give you some background on the issue. Our industry's current turnover rate is at 60%, 20% higher than previous years. And that equates to 200 million days lost and $19 billion in costs wasted in just 2021 alone. And of that 60%, Typically, 33% quit, quit within the first 90 days. Every day that we wait is another $5 million loss. What has changed, you may ask? The needs and wants of our associates are changing as new generations are entering our industry. No longer is pay, stability, and the opportunity of advancement enough. The new generations and younger generations are attracted to job with purpose, real-time guidance, and company culture. Money is no longer the top priority. Our industry is one of the most traditional jobs out there with very little change to its internal structure, especially for frontline employees. We continue to onboard new hires only to lose them in a matter of weeks and putting more pressure on our current associates to carry the burden. Without significant change to our work environment and structure, we will be in this vicious loop of trying to throw money at the problem only to stay stuck in the same cycle. The longer we wait, the more we're gonna create burnout for our current associates. How do we break this vicious loop? Hi, my name's Tammy. <clears throat> Prior to my career in the food industry, I felt like my opportunities were running out. I was recently divorced, had filed bankruptcy, and was a single mother. I needed a job and a fresh start. Luckily for me, my sister, right out of high school, went to work at Safeway as a deli clerk. It didn't take her long to realize there was endless opportunities for career advancement and training and development programs. So of course, Katie told me to apply at Safeway. Maybe the first time I ever listened to my little sister, but I'm sure glad I did. Today I stand here, almost two decades later, continuing on my career path 
that has helped me be financially independent and still providing me opportunities like standing here today. So who would imagine two sisters being store directors at the same time with 50 plus years of experience in the industry? A survey conducted by LinkedIn said 71% of professionals would rather take a pay cut and work for a company that has values and mission they believe in. We need to acknowledge that our employees have different needs and values and want to work for a company that <coughs> advances their future through training and development programs. We conducted a survey of 120 millennials and asked what they wanted out of a job. They said career advancement, development and training programs, and flexibility in their daily responsibilities. So now let's take a look at the largest emerging workforce, Generation Z. This is the first generation that was born into a world of technology. Gen Zs are digitally intuitive and have always had technology at their fingertips. According to Common Sense Media, Gen Z teens spend an average of 45 hours a week on their cell phone. So what is a teenager looking at their cell phone for 45, 45 hours, which is equivalent to a full-time job? Well, social media platforms, of course, to the likes of YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. And because Gen Zs want personalized data, they're happy to vol voluntarily provide their personal data to social media apps. So how are customer loyalty programs to the younger generation? 74% of millennials and Gen Zs use a mobile application to purchase products. 90% of millennials belong to a, a premium loyalty program. Loyalty programs have evolved drastically from a card on a keychain to an app on a smartphone. And with the rise of e-commerce and omni-channel shopping, consumers are spending more than ever from a laptop or a smartphone. So now I'm gonna tell you a little bit of why personalized loyalty programs are the way of the future and how we can take a similar approach to create employee loyalty. Retailers are now combining customer data with AI to create personalized customer loyalty programs. AI or artificial intelligence has allowed us to have an enormous amount of information right at our fingertips. Artificial intelligence can quickly recognize trends, make decisions, and then offer recommendations based on historical data. Retailers are using AI to track customer spending habits, decide how much value each customer is to the company, and then adapt and change that experience to continue to engage the customer and keep them coming back to the stores. In fact, it has gotten so sophisticated that companies can create a unique experience for each individual customer. So why are we only focused on customer data? We could use data and technology in the same way to motivate and incentivize our own associates. Few Many companies, companies view workforce strategy Yelp, through a narrow lens, focusing only on full-time employees and their AI career paths and contributions. The workforce is so much more than that. Platforms, With contract and gig workers, AI and, and robots, service family, providers, and even crowdsourced contributors. And they're not just in the workplace, they can be anywhere in the world. We need a new structure for managing the transformed world of work. Not a corporate hierarchy, but a workforce ecosystem that can encompass everything that creates value for the organization. Human and digital, internal and external, full-time and free agents. One that unleashes the potential of the workforce by re-architecting work to focus on projects and outcomes, not job titles. Access and talent through opportunity marketplaces, through a narrow lens, curating experiences that help all workers learn and grow, and developing a shared culture that engages everyone, so much more than no matter where they sit on an org chart. Workers, a workforce robots, ecosystem approach recognizes that even if members of the system are working and independently, they're, in the they're all working they on behalf of the same organization. All of their work is interconnected, the and the organization will win or lose based on the work and what they achieve together. Ecosystem that can encompass everything that creates value for the organization. Human and digital, internal and external, full-time and free agents. One that unleashes the potential of the workforce 
by re-architecting work to focus on projects and outcomes, not job titles. Accessing talent through opportunity marketplaces, curating experiences that help all workers learn and grow, and developing a shared culture that engages everyone, no matter where they sit on an org chart. A workforce ecosystem approach recognizes that even if members of the system are working independently, they're all working on behalf of the same organization. All of their work is interconnected, and the organization will win or lose based on the work and what they achieve together. We need to leverage data to take care of our people the same way we use it to engage our customers in our stores. If our associates' goals change, do we even know it? We need to use technology to engage and find what truly motivates our associates in order to better retain them, decrease turnover, and also increase productivity in our stores. Let me walk you through these two different scenarios. Meet Amy. She's 32 years old, and she's looking for a full-time job so she can take care of her family. She's motivated by a steady income and a flexible schedule so she can attend her daughter's soccer games. Some benefits Amy might be looking for would be vouchers for childcare, free groceries at her store, or additional paid time off. Now let's meet Elijah. Elijah's 20 years old and he's looking for a part-time job. He wants to focus on school and sports and he spends most of his time outdoors or at the gym focusing on his health and fitness. Some benefits that Elijah might be looking for would be vouchers for a school tuition, free supplements, or a gym membership. We hire thousands of associates just like Amy and Elijah every year, and they all have their own individual wants and desires. Our industry currently uses a cookie cutter approach, and we would offer these two extremely different people a similar compensation and benefit package. If we can give them benefits personalized on their own needs, there's a much better chance that we retain them. So how many of you expected to have a career within the food industry? Amy and Elijah, they may have only planned on being here for two to three years, but if we can engage them and motivate them and give them what they're truly looking for, we may be able to give them a career that they never knew they were looking for. So let me introduce you to my path. My path is a personalized application that our associates can use to pave their own way and also get a real-time progression indicator. Does, does it look familiar to you? It might look like the Starbucks application that you use every day to get your morning cup of coffee or one of the customer loyalty programs we currently use in our stores. Well, similar to a customer loyalty program, our associates would be able to use my path to accumulate points given to them for completing tasks given to them by their managers, picking up open shifts, or working in different positions throughout the store. They would then be able to use these points to purchase benefits that are specified to their profile. They would also be able to build a profile similar to a social media account, and they could show their managers where they're looking for growth, and they could also show their goals. Managers would then be able to use that to best place them within the stores and also help them achieve those goals. Now I want to be clear that we don't think another application is going to solve all our problems, but we do believe that it could be part of a bigger data platform that is constantly evolving and growing to best find what our associates are looking for. So let me ask you, are you ready to change the way we engage our associates? But is it really possible to drastically reduce employee turnover in a brick and mortar retailer? In 2013, Best Buy started reinventing their associate experience, while many of the electronics retailers in their industry were filing for bankruptcy. They were able to reduce their employee turnover from 47% in 2013 down to 30% in 2020. And how did they do this? They actively elicited feedback from associates to shape new processes to serve customers better. They created personalized and tailored content around associates' wants and needs, and they tied associate learning to career progression. And best of all, there was a direct correlation between a reduction in employee turnover and an increase in sales revenue and profits. 
but that's an example in the electronics industry. Let's bring this back home to the food industry. Every time we hire and train an associate, it costs approximately $3,300. If we were to save 20 associates from leaving a store, it would put $66,000 back to the bottom line. So let's consider this. Less than 2% of sales revenue reaches the bottom line as profit. That means saving one associate from leaving the store is the same as adding $165,000 in incremental sales revenue. Saving 20 associates from leaving one store is the same as adding $3.3 million in incremental sales revenue. So let's think about the canned vegetable aisle for a moment. If I were to tell you that you could increase sales in your canned vegetable aisle by $3.3 million, how much intensity and focus would you put into keeping that section of your store full and ready for the shopper at all times? So why do we not give that same level of intensity and focus to attracting and retaining the best people? So how can we leverage this new employee platform in new ways to make our companies better? First, increase process efficiency. Take scheduling, for example. Utilizing the data in our employee loyalty application, we can identify which associates prefer to work every shift. So the next time you have a sick call, you can send a push notification out to specific associates that are most likely to fill that shift, communicating across multiple store networks in real time. We can reveal deeper patterns and reasons of why people are leaving before they actually quit and long before an exit survey is needed. So we no longer have to wait for a once a year survey to gain real time associate feedback. Uncovering insights and trends with speed and efficiency. We're not talking about replacing people. We are talking about making people better. So I started working in a grocery store when I was in my mid-20s. I didn't dream of a career in the industry, but I've been here ever since. To me, working in the grocery industry has been much more than just a job. It's been making memories, celebrating achievements, helping others, and having good laughs. But none of that would have existed if it wasn't for the people in the stores. So much has changed in our industry over the last decade. Amazon is now a major player in the food industry. E-commerce and grocery delivery are just part of our everyday work environment. And technology has allowed us innovation solutions to keep our customers engaged so that we can stay relevant and profitable in an increasingly digital age. But somewhere along this journey, we lost our connection to the people that matter the most, our associates. Our turnover rates have increased, our stores are short-staffed, and we have watched our great work culture and our people get pushed to the breaking point. Now, I know all of you out there in this room care about our employees. It has been a constant conversation in all of our companies for the last several years. We have increased our starting pay rates, we have advertised our competitive benefit packages, but these have only been a band-aid to the problem and the wound is still gushing. Our industry is about people. It's about our customers, it's about our community, and it's about our employees. So we have to figure out how we engage this next generation of workers so that we can continue to make the food industry a great place to work. Whether that's the start of a new career or a stepping stone to the next opportunity, or the end of the journey after many hard years worked. We are not the only industry fighting to keep employees. So if we are going to attract and retain the top talent, we need to figure out what our associates' needs and values are, not only in work, but in their lives, so that we can create strong loyalty to our companies and our industry. Today, we are asking you not to take the little steps, but to take the big jump and use data, technology, and artificial intelligence the same way we apply it to our customers, but to our associates, and invest in a career progression platform that aligns the needs of the business with a personalized journey for each of our employees. We can imagine a future where the food industry dominates the top places to work at all levels. Can you? Thank you for your time, and we are happy to answer any questions.
Hi, thank you for your presentation. That was really insightful. Um, so one question I had, I know you guys laid out the differences and values for each of the generations when it comes to their work environment. How do you guys um, foresee the companies adapting to the new world when like generations like the boomers and the Gen X are usually the ones that are making these decisions? How do you get those on board to, to see the new technology that's needed um, for uh, an uh, overall employee uh, value? Um, I, th I think the key is to incorporate the, all the generations in the decision process. So, you know, a lot of times we start and it's, we're making top down decisions. So we need to really go to the bottom and talk to the frontline employees about what they're looking for and what they want and really bring in the generation Z, the millennials into the fold and into the conversation so that we really get this understanding of what they want and bring them up to those higher leadership and decision levels. Maybe they're not the ones making the decisions, but they're involved in the process. And just that alone will start to change the nature of how much they feel their loyalty to our organizations because they feel like they've at least given their thoughts on the situation. Maybe we, maybe we go a different path, but if they feel like that they've said something that is meaningful to them, then that creates that contribution to the organization that creates that loyalty that we're looking for.